Hi everyone, I'm uh, I'm back. Uh, I was uh, talking about uh, <coughs> ancestors, and I uh, described a story that happened to me earlier today uh, that helped connect me with my ancestors, or at least it felt that way. <coughs> and I ended the last episode or last video offering, uh, inviting you, inviting everyone to see where in their life they are connecting or not connecting with their ancestors. <clears throat> and um, I find <clears throat> very much that ancient cultures, whether it's South America, North America, particularly the Native American culture, um, <clears throat> Africa, the Arab world, <clears throat> any, any, any old ancient civilization, normally have rituals, gatherings that honor their ancestors, honor the people that paved the way, that, that collected knowledge and passed it on. And uh, <clears throat> the honoring of one's ancestors in the modern world is looked at negatively, is looked at as a backward, <clears throat> a backward thing, a primitive thing. And I think there's a tremendous amount of loss <coughs> that uh, comes at the tail end of that. <clears throat> Most people today don't live a life that is connecting to their ancestors uh, for, for a number of reasons. And I think when we live a life that doesn't connect us with our ancestors, uh, we, we don't live a full life. Very often we are ill because we're disconnected. We're disconnected from a group of people that, although physically are not here, that their energies are, their wisdom is here. <clears throat> Some say, and I've heard this from a number of sources, that in your, in your bones, the bones that you carry around, is the knowledge and experience of, of all your ancestors. And it's very often when you least expect it, especially, is, <coughs> excuse me, especially when you get into trouble, something arises and you're, you're in serious trouble, all of a sudden, somehow you just know what you need to do. And you do it and you get out of trouble. Um, I don't think that's a stroke of luck. I don't think that's your personal um, doing. I think that's an example of your ancestors helping you out. And it really is an interesting topic. And uh, the more I think about it, <coughs> the more I feel uh, supported and guided by people that have gone through pretty much everything that I'm going through. It, it, it expresses itself differently. We live in different times. We have different technologies at our disposal. But in essence, we're, we're still human. We wake up, we work, we get married, we have good days, bad days, we laugh, we cry, uh, we suffer loss, uh, and then we end up leaving this place, getting buried, and the cycle continues. And within that cycle, we gain a tremendous amount of information, of experience, that is passed on in one way or the other, whether it's through stories, through poetry, through some, 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 some psychic connection, through your DNA, through the stars, I don't know. But I think it's really, really interesting and worthy of your time to see how your ancestors are coming into your life, whether it's when you dream, when you wake up, or how they're not coming into your life, and how you can ask yourselves, well, if the notion is, I have ancestors, and there is a connection there, well, what, 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 why am I not feeling that connection? Then I would, I would follow that thread deeper and, and just see how you're living your life. Are you living a life that is truly honoring who you are. I'm not talking about a mental construct of who you are. 
I'm not talking about how you want to be or how other people want you to be. I'm talking about a life that resonates with who you are effortlessly, just by yourself. You, 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 this is a life you don't do. This is a life you don't accomplish. This is a life that you have. It's, it's, it's your status quo. You are oozing in this life all the time. You are vibrating in it all the time. You don't need to do anything to get there. What tends to happen is most of us don't have that because we're just too afraid. We're too afraid not to be busy. We're too afraid not to, uh, we're too afraid not to stick out uh, or we're too afraid of sticking out that we don't genuinely do that. And very often we belittle it in the same way we belittle our ancestors. So I know a lot of people in my part of the world in this modern day and age that look at my ancestors as primitive and backward. Um, they didn't have the technologies that we did uh, and uh,